Greetings and welcome to another Fantasy Fantasy 14 video. So this time we are going to be talking about the Samurai and unfortunately the Samurai has not gotten any big changes in Stormblood and it's still the most basic of rotations and yeah it really is about it. We did get a couple of new tools that hit pretty hard but unfortunately they are on very long cooldown timers and yeah because we can't control when a burst phase happens because we, die, we have no way of increasing our own damage against the target outside of our own standard buff. Yeah, it's just a matter of having to coordinate, coordinate with your party members so you can actually work, well, burst during their own burst phases so you can actually max out the damage. This is a little easier said than done, although you can practice it on pickup groups during dungeons and raids if you get a ninja or a dragoon or a um, summoner so that when you see their buff on you, that is when you should launch your burst. But before all that, let's talk about the samurai and the new abilities we got, shall we? So let's take a look. So the first ability we got is Hisatsu Sene. Now this is the equivalent of Gurin, but for single target, so it hits a lot harder. And it's not a bad skill, it's 1100 potency. The problem, as you can see, it's a two minute recast timer, and that is a very, very long time. I mean, you're gonna be looking at this grayed out on your hotbar, and you're gonna be like, why is it taking so long to come off cooldown, which kinda sucks. But now we get a fun ability, Tsubai Mika Eshi. Now, this ability doesn't actually do anything, but it mimics your last Iaju to performed. And it, gets, it gives it enhanced potency, equivalent to having used Hitatsu Kaiten before it. As you can see, here's our original Hingambana, and this is the Tsubai Mika Eshi version. So after you use an Iaju to Tsubai Mika Eshi, which I have here, will transform into the appropriate one. Now, as you can see there, it can only be executed immediately following Iaju to, that means that if you do any other skill or ability, it will go away and you wasted a chance. Luckily, it's got. Well, luckily, it will come back immediately after you use the next AI you too, but you are re well, really don't want to miss out on any of them. And lastly, we have Shoha. As you can see, it lives an attack with a potency of 400 and can only be executed after accumulating three stacks of meditation by executing AI you to Subamigaeshi or Meditate. And that is down here, as you can see. So every time you land an AI you to or a Super Mega Eshi, or you're stuck out of combat doing meditation, then this will slowly fill up, and once it fills up, you'll hear a Durun sound, and you can, be, you can launch it. It is instant, it's off the global cooldown, so it's a pretty good ability. Now, anything from the traits, well, not really. Enhance the idea to reduce the cast time from 2 seconds, I think it was, to 1.3? Can't really remember, but that's what it is now. And it increases our self buffs to 13% instead of 10%, which is pretty nice. So, as we can see here, the standard weapon skill combos for the Samurai are still the exact same ones. You start with Hakase into Shifu into Kasha for our first buff, and then you go into Jinpu into Gekko for our second buff, and at that point you go into Yukikaze, and then you have a full Senbar, or a Sengage, and you can launch any I do too, and that is still the most basic rotation for the ninja. And that's because un still until today, as we can see over here, Midara Tetsugeka is still our most powerful ability because, remember, we are always using our EA Jutsu after Hitatsu Kaiten, which empowers it by 50%. So this one right here, which is the Zubameka Ishi version, is the equivalent of what every single one of these three do when empowered. So as we can see, if we use Higambana with Hitatsu Kaiten, that is the type of damage you're dealing with. A not a bad damage of 375 on, well, on use, and then a damage over time potency of 60 for an entire minute, and I believe it is for every three seconds. So for so 26 of 60, that is 1,200. That is not a bad damage over time spell, isn't it? And, as you can, and yeah, Hitkashi is a Tugeka, really is our strongest ability. So what are we going to do during battle? Well, that is when we're going to talk about the actual rotation, which is also, unfortunately, our burst rotation. So what do I mean? Well. Because we have actually no way of landing a debuff on the target to increase our uh, overall damage beyond our two buffs, we are reliant on somebody else to either land that debuff or grant the buff. So I would recommend either making friends with a Dragoon in your party or paying attention to your local rogue. Whenever they turn around and stab the target with both of their daggers, that is your cue to launch your burst. Well, what we can only call the most burst we have. During this burst, we are actually going to land our, Kash, our first Hitatsu Kaiten into our Hingambana, which is how we start everything. And then after that, we're going to hit Mekui Shisui. 
and we are going to get Yukikaze and Kasha. And because of the way we are stationed, it's going to work. We are already going to have Gekko. And that means we will launch Midare Setu Gekka into Tsubamega Eshi, into Shoha, into Senei. And that really is all the burst we have. Uh, because everything is on cooldown by then. So let us show you. So as you can see, everything is at zeros. And let's assume we do not have... Well, we do not... I just joined the fight against this boss. So let's start with the standard weapon skill combo. There's our first buff. And at this point is when we're going to land our Hangambana right here. Get our second buff. Trigger that. Yukikaze. Into that. Enhanced. Into Super Mega Eshi. And there we go. So at the very, very, very end, I accidentally used Shifu instead of Kasha to, re to refresh our debuff. But that wasn't necessary. And that right there, that what you just saw, that is our most powerful burst ability, well, burst rotation that we can even have. Which kind of sucks, really, because there's really nothing particularly flashy. I mean, yeah, we got Hisatsu Seni, but as you saw, it isn't particularly flashy at all. You somehow draw a second sword from somewhere, and then you slash a couple of, in a cross sec, well, in a cross slash, and that's about it. Ka Shoha is actually pretty fun to use. It's got a long animation, but it doesn't do that much damage. Swambigashi is okay, but the abilities are exactly the same visually, so you don't really stand out in any way. And that is the only bad thing that I can think about, a sa about the samurai. Nothing about your abilities really stand out. They're all just standard, I guess. That's a problem. And yeah, there really isn't much to say about the samurai outside of that. So let's go over the rotation one more time. There we go. There we go. We are back at zeros. So remember, it start your your well, your fight against any boss with the first standard weapon skill rotation from the side, so we can get maximum Kenki Gotch. Then trigger Kiki Shoujin, so we can have maximum Kenki. Start the second weapon skill combo. At this point, launch an empowered Hagambana. Trigger Mekui Shisui. Go into Yuki Kaze. Oh, I, I, mean, I, actually, I actually made a mistake there. We should have launched the Gecko first, but we can actually use it here. At that point, we're going to launch our Empowered here. Into Zamagashi, into that. Unfortunately, because it's still in corner, we will also use that. And yeah, that is our well, burst combo, unfortunately. So let's take a good look at what this thing actually looks like. We've got five seconds, so let's use it. And let's see, what do you look like? As you can see, pretty boring, unfortunately. So yeah, there really isn't much to say about the Samurai outside of what you just saw. It's a very standard weapon skill rotation. Use your abilities as soon as they've come off cooldown if you're playing by yourself. Or if you can actually coordinate with your... with a over voiceover IP with your friend Dragoon or Ninja or Summoner to grant you a actual damage buff or a debuff on the target, then you can actually coordinate with them to launch this combo as they are launching their... Well, they're increased deep. Uh, well, what are they called? Uh, let's see. It's Left Eye for Dragoon. It's Battle Litany. For the Ninja, it is a Trick Attack, which exposes weakness on the target. And for the Summoner, it is... I cannot remember. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Enkindo? No. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Ah, uh, hold on. Where's my Summoner? Uh, summoner, 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 Summoner. Here it is. There it is. Ether pack, that's what it is. So yeah. So yeah, the samurai, really not much that can be said outside of what you already know. When it comes to burst damage, you are relying on your party and not yourself, so try and coordinate with them. Outside of that, it's just every single ability you have whenever, whenever it comes off cooldown. And yeah. Hopefully you find this useful, although it really wasn't that much complicated. And we will see you next time when I think I'm going to start leveling up the Black Mage. Because that should be a lot more fun than the Samurai, at least when it comes to interesting rotations. So anyway, later.